Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Annette. If you're not new here, what do you think I'm a new do? I love it so much. Cheers. Fall is approaching. If you're anything like me, you will agree that fall has already approached. September 1st is the beginning of spooky season and now here we are. So I'm going to be doing my usual fall decorate with me. We're gonna clean, we're gonna decorate, we're gonna do all the fun things, swap out the spring summer decor for the fall stuff. My favorite. The only thing I love more than decorating for fall is decorating for Christmas, which will come shortly after. All this for two months. So I thought I would start this out with a haul because it is very tiny this year. I did get a fair amount of fall stuff last year. Um, I will leave last year's fall videos uh, for decor and such down below if you want to check those out. If one video is not enough for you, I understand. I'm your people, I get it. So I just went to the dollar store this year can't trust the sun today apparently. I didn't want to get too too much stuff because like I said I do have a fair amount in my decor bin already which we are gonna go through next. Also I have a very active toddler in the house so I just didn't want to get too many items that he can destroy. Let's have a little look at the things that I did get and then we will get right into the musical montage of festiveness. It's more than three things but technically I only got three things. So I picked up new placemats as I do. Um, I'm really liking these wipeable ones. I think I said that in my spring decor haul. The dollar store always has these like printed hard plastic ones that are very easy to wipe down. These are all the same print but this is it. It's just kind of like a super fall moment here. And then last year I did get a fair amount of lovely glass pumpkins from HomeSense. And I found this one is like a cement or like concrete, whatever. It could kill somebody. Pumpkin, but it's metallic. And it's a similar color to my crystal pumpkins. So I thought this would kind of like mix it up with textures, you know, and just kind of add some fun. Plus this was like a quarter of the price of the pumpkins at HomeSense. So because you can't have too many pumpkins, am I right? And then lastly, if you've seen any of my decor hauls, decor videos before, you were aware that I like to just put knickknacks everywhere. I have a vase, if you are new. Uh, and I fill that up every single season. So I did get these with the intention of using them as vase filler, but if you recall from last year, I changed my mind like hundreds of times. So I may have something that I'd wanna use more. I don't know yet, but I bought these just in case and worst case scenario, they will look very cute on the like centerpiece tray that I use. I got one bag of these, they're pine cones and acorns. And I got two bags of these pine cones and they've got like orange bronze glitter on them and then I got two bags of just assorted filler so they have pine cones in them as well as little gold squashes squash and pumpkin I've got room to play around with those which I'm very excited about so even if I don't use them as vase filler, um, I will use them somewhere. Oh, I have to go haul out my decor bin and then uh, dig through it and we'll pick out whatever fall decor I have and start changing some stuff out.
Okay, let's finish this up by doing a little walkthrough of the decoration. So basically I've pretty much just decorated the dining area, which is just fine because like I said, toddler, and I just don't want things getting wrecked. This is not the year to invest in fancy salt decor. Starting off simple, we just have the placemats out on the table. I don't have a centerpiece because toddler. This is my centerpiece. My pearl tray from HomeSense. These were vase filler from last year from HomeSense. My little glass pumpkin, my concrete pumpkin, and this is also a candle from last year from HomeSense. The almond pumpkin, not only does this smell incredibly festive, but it also has like that cool kind of rustic fall look to it. So even if I don't light it, it goes with the decor. Um, I've got my crystal pumpkin right here. It just didn't work with the tray this year, I don't think. And then for the filler for this guy, I used the sparkling pine cones. Other side, this looks a little ridiculous, but I think it kind of looks funny. It looks like a pumpkin strong man almost, but <laughs> I'm hilarious. I think I'm hilarious. So anyways, we got the pumpkin strong dude with some pine cones. Uh, and then the little bowl of pine cones and acorns. And this is another last year candle from HomeSense. Uh, the sweet pumpkin, this one actually is much spicier than the other one. Uh, so I like this one less, which is why I put it in the little ashtray candle holder thing. And then I will walk you over to my favorite part, which is the child waking up. Just kidding. Vase uh, pieces themselves are from the dollar store last year. I've got burlap down at the bottom and then a, just a mix of literally all the filler. So the Home Sense filler from last year as well as some of the new Dollarama filler from this year and I think it is absolutely gorgeous. Mwah. Love it. So that's it for this video. If you love decor videos then subscribe because I do these every season, sometimes more. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, we'll see you in the next one.